All right, here's what I've got. Uh, you see a ruler there with the centimeter reference, about 110 millimeters by uh, 55, centi 55 millimeters. Uh, what we have right here is a countdown timer. It's set right now for one hour, two minutes, three seconds, and four tenths. There's a few different modes that you can display. Right now we have it set for that mode. You can set it for, that's again, these are all gonna be one hour, two minutes, three seconds, and four tenths. You can have it separated like this, which will only give you two digits for hours. You can have it set like this, one hour, a space, and then two minutes, three seconds. You can have it like this with tenths. And then you also have some, uh, you have it all squished together like this, hours, minutes, seconds, all right together. You also then have uh, choices of how to display the leading characters. So here's with leading zeros. Uh, or sorry, that's with that's just this is with spaces, I guess. Then we have with dashes, and then we also have another mode which has flashing dashes. So if you go. Oh, with leaving zeros. So hold on, we'll pause it. Come around there. And change the mode. That's with dashes. And then this mode has flashing dashes. This is gonna count down with uh, with tenths. So this is now one hour, one minute in 38 seconds or so. You can pause it, you can adjust the timer. So you can take away, I will say zero hours. You can add minutes here. So this would be if we need to add it up to 10 minutes and bring the minutes down just to make the timer faster here. Oops. Bring this down as well. We'll give a 10 second countdown. This would be if we had a 10 second countdown in this particular flashing mode, it'll flash down and we'll end up with the timer stopped. Okay, we have a memory. We can recall the timer. That timer was set for one, one, zero. We set it for one, two, three minutes, so one, one hour, two minutes, three seconds, zero tenths. We can store that in the memory of the machine. And then when it powers up or when we run the timer, we can always come back to that at 102.03. Uh, you can stop, start the timer. Uh, let's see what else. We also have intensity, so you can change the brightness. And what we'll do is we'll set the mode like this. You can see the brightness will come up right here temporarily. So as we as we rotate through, we can see it dims down quite a bit. It's quite a bit more apparent even uh, in person. There's eight dimming dimming levels. So seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Um, all the modes and everything are saved as well. Um, so when you restart, again, you can kind of load the memory one hour, two minutes, three seconds, start, stop, load it back if you want to do the shot again. Uh, let's see, we'll go down to zero. And here's how you can, here's how the timer will look if you have the zeros. Then if we, uh, oops, sorry, let's, program it for a five second countdown. So we'll program five seconds in there, store that in memory. That way we can recall it quickly. So with leaving zeros, this is what the timer would look like. With leaving zeros and tenths, I suppose, that's what it will look like. If we change the mode to, this would be hours, minutes, and seconds, recall it. It'll be just five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. 
And then this would be if we had it in this mode. Okay, and this would be five, four, three, two, one, zero. And again, this mode um, will only have 99 hours possible. Uh, okay, and if we do this one, this is without leaving zeros. So it would just count down five, four, three. So this is what it would look like if it had, you know, one, one hour, one minute, three seconds. Then this is one hour, one minute, three seconds, and five tenths. Same here, one hour, one minute, three, two, one. And then same deal here. Here is with leading dashes. So this will be three digits of hours, a space, minutes, seconds. Again, that'll be, uh, count that down. Like that. And then this is uh, one hour, zero minutes, 57.3 seconds. So that'll count down like this. Everything is nicely spaced. And then here, if we get rid of the hours, then you see we've got now 53 seconds. If we add a minute back, we've got one minute, 53 seconds. And if we, uh, let's see, we'll add a few seconds here. So you can see the counter flip over. So one minute, zero seconds, three tenths. Then you'll see a little countdown. And we'll just speed things along here. Oops. No, I'll do like it at 15. I'll set it for 15 seconds. And I'll set it for 20 seconds, I suppose. 20 seconds will be that. Put that in memory instead of the five seconds. Okay, now 20 seconds is in memory. And let's see what this looks like as it counts down. And this is with leading dashes, as you can see. We'll show you the alternate mode here. Okay, so that counts down, shuts off. Load back the 20 seconds. Here's another way. Hours, uh, three digits of hours, two of minutes, 20 seconds. So again, this would be if it was one hour, two, one hour, you know, five minutes and 20 seconds would look like that. Here we have one hour, five minutes and 20 seconds evenly spaced. Again, only 99 hours possible. And here we have the dashes uh, are solid again. Now we have three space and then these two are together. And here we have it flashing. So you see the leading digits are now flashing to give a little bit more kind of sense of urgency. So if you uh, switch that around, now here's with the tenths. And again, if we take that hour out of there, then we're down to 50, I'm down to five minutes. So I'll take this down to one and we'll, uh, well, let's see, we'll stop it. Give it a, kind of a one minute countdown, one minute, five tenths, one minute, zero seconds, five tenths. You see how it counts. And you see that's kind of coming down towards zero. Okay, we'll recall 20 seconds from memory, and then just see how that looks again as it counts down to zero. So this display right now would be three digits for hours, two for minutes, two for seconds, and then one for tenths. And we'll see what it does when it counts down. Okay, and then if we, uh, oh, we restarted the timer there. So let's see, now we'll go one hour, two minutes, three seconds. And four tenths, program, program that into memory, a long push. Okay, now you can just see the different modes. So that will be uh, one, two, one hour, two minutes, three seconds. This is evenly spaced. This is spaced with a space and then that. This is with tenths. This is with all crammed together. So in other words, the space is now over on this side. It's uh, all tight together. You can kind of decide what looks 
best for your application. Um, then we have some different choices about leading zeros. So this is with leading zeros being blank. Um, this is with tenths. This is, uh, again, balanced. Then this is leading zeros having dashes. And then this is leading zeros being flashing, uh, being a flashing dash. So here it's uh, zeros. Tenths, I'll kind of flip around, come down. I think the one I prefer is the one where it's flashing and has tenths, which I just passed. That would be this one. So again, that's, uh, that's your choice. Again, if we load one hour, two minutes, three seconds, we can take away the, uh, take away the hour take away the minute, give ourselves uh, a few more seconds here. We'll say maybe a 10 second countdown, get rid of the tenths. All right, I'll put that in memory. All right, and then again, here's one last 10 second countdown. terms of uh, control, you've got one batch of four wires here that connect up to the processor. The processor is an Arduino Pro uh, connected with USB, so the USB is providing the power supply, and these wires could be you know, hidden away or whatever. Um, if we need to, we could flip this jack around to the back, and then you would have something that was fairly flat in the in the front, you might be able to you know, come up with some kind of a cover or something that would kind of let it look like that. So if we did this, we have that thing there, and then uh, you know, kind of get the timer going. Uh, well, it's a pain in the ass, but kind of get the timer going that way. Some kind of a display kind of covering everything up. That might be uh, how you could do it. That's basically our choice for next week. Hope this helps. Any questions, shoot, shoot them on.